I've really been loving this locomotive, the General. It's really a part of history from my area. But when we did the videos, we got a lot of good suggestions. And I want to thank everybody for those suggestions. We're going to be trying to do more of your suggestions. But one of the best is directly related to what we're going to show you today. And it was inspired by seeing a locomotive like this. So if you can't guess, this item is made by Bachman. Bachman, now that's the way to run a railroad. And it was sent to us from Train World. And we're so excited to get this. And I want to thank everyone that suggested it for getting something like this. This is a fairly new product. Uh, I just got an email also from Bachman um, advertising this. I'll try to include the information in the description below. But this video is sponsored by Train World, who is the ones that uh, sent us this. So, uh, Train World is my favorite place to get trains. <laughs> and, oh, this is great. And here we go. Uah! This is this the transcontinental digital sound set. Uh, and this is based on the historic Golden Spike event. And, oh, let me, hold on a minute. For some people, it's a mystery how my railroad works, but it's a little mess right now. So don't. Mine is DC, meaning I have two transformers, and you choose between transformer A or B by these switches, and each section of track is blocked. That's DC. This train set it's going to be my first time having something like this because it comes with this control unit now i do have a couple other locomotives that have the dcc or the easy command control center uh, chips in them but this will be the first time i've actually got the controller so i think i uh, one of the bachman i think it was a southern railroad uh, locomotive I have. I'm going to have to find where I've stored that one away because I should be able to control it uh, with this controller. But this has sound, which is going to be really cool. Digital sound set. And I think I can use this uh, to control the direction of that other locomotive. Now, I don't know if these are only sound or if you can... We're going to find out if it's full DCC. It says on, with onboard speakers. So I think that's the main thing is the sound yeah, all right, so this is going to be interesting. But you got two locomotives. Anytime you get a set with two locomotives, that's uh, pretty amazing. We'll turn this thing around. So this is commemorating the 150th year anniversary of the Transcontinental Railroad being completed in Promontory, Utah, May 10th, 1869. Wow. <laughs> So, I'll put this information below, but we got the two locomotives here that met at that famous photograph, <laughs> or that it was photographed, that scene of the Golden Spike anniversary. Uh, before we get to opening that, we got a couple other things in here. Oh, look! We got the new Bachman Thomas & Friends Sodor Fruit and Vegetable Company car. I did not have that one. And there is another one in here. The GW. <laughs> this is the uh, Sodor Great Western. Is that what that is? So we did not have this one either. So we'll do these in upcoming videos. I'll go ahead and put the links to all these products in the description below where you can get them at Train World. Train World has some of the best prices. They have a really good price on this. It's much less than the actual retail price. Now you can go to Bachman and buy it and get free shipping now, uh, but Train World prices, they got the uh, a good a good price on it. So I, I would look there. Go ahead and open this thing up and I'm thinking a lot of times I don't keep the boxes because I only got so much room here in my basement. But this is such a special set. I think I'm going to keep the box uh, for this one. It is a limited edition with individually numbered collector's card. So we're going to see what number we got on this one. Get this thing out of here. I think we'll pull out the cars and the locomotives first. There we go. 
I hope I don't mess this up. <laughs> and keep this piece to go back over it if I store them here. Oh look, a bumper track. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and what is this? Oh, it's a little... Is that a weight? And we got a little um, HO scale man there. So I'll set that over there. We'll put out the cars first. Oh, it's Bill and Ted's favorite. <laughs> this is 69, dudes. This is Bill and Ted's favorite uh, freight uh, passenger car. Why did I say freight? Central Pacific. And the Central Pacific will join up with the Union Pacific. Number nine. Very nice commemorative car there. Hopefully I won't break it. And this is the tricky part. Getting out these beaut man, they are so beautiful. Oh, these are these are even better looking than the general. It's got this little piece here that I could have pulled it out with, but now I've already messed up. Let me just get this out. Okay. Whoa. You know what? I'm just gonna have to get this out and set it down. I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. without breaking there we go all right Whew. got him out look at that it's got a front coupler there on the cow catcher that's pretty cool nice wood load there the jupiter oh this is beautiful this thing's so nice looking so the jupiter is the central pacific locomotive and the Union Pacific number 119 is obviously the Union <laughs> Pacific locomotive. Looks like it's got a coal load instead of a wood load, like that one. So we got a few more things to unbox here. We got this part with the quick start guide, and I'm assuming all the tracks in here. We'll find out what number we got. The controller in here. If I can get it out. And there's the controller. Never had one of these. So I'm probably going to have to read the manual to know how to work it. A wire there. Where's the track? There's the track. It's in there. I just got to get it out. Oh, th that's why I can't get it out. It's strapped in. I'll get it. Got to do it like this. So we got five straight sections. The switch track. The, enough to make a circle of track there and the bumper. Here is the quick start guide. We got the uh, DC sound value on board. Steam effects, diesel effects. Ooh, let's give it diesel sound effects, right? Here is our limited edition. We got number 576 of 1000. So I imagine these things are going to go fast. Uh, only 1,000 of them are being made, so that's pretty special. <laughs> that is real special. And it's got nice gold print there. It's got a manual on the easy command set up in programming. We've got the 90 day limited warranty. More information on easy track there. This track is so easy. All of these sets that Bachman makes that are ready to run sets they're so easy to set up and I've built several of these I got a lot of this track and I've put it together taken apart put it together taken apart and it holds up pretty well uh, I had sets as a kid that did not come with these the road bed they were just the pieces of track and over time they would wear out the ties would break and uh, you just got to where you couldn't set up on the floor anymore but these are very durable so the re-railer came with joiners on all of the rails. That's interesting. Usually it's just on one side like that. So we got the Jupiter set up on the track. Got the conductor there. But before I plug the power in, I'm going to read the manual to make sure I do this right. It says, do not connect the easy command control center to the wall power supply until you have made connection from the controller center to your track. So I gotta connect that thing first. 
So I've plugged it in, haven't done anything, and this is already making sounds. I'm really excited about this because I've never done my own DCC. Okay, still reading. So this is what it looks like when you power it up, locomotive in. It says that the locomotives come, usually respond to commands on address 3. Uh, to program your locomotive to another address, activate the locomotive by running it a short distance. Okay. Uh-oh. Whoops. And I also forgot to throw the switch back. We had a derailment. I was supposed to move, move that back and I didn't. So we're going to change this one to a different address. I think it's you press and hold. That's flashing. And then we're going to change this one to 1. Alright, I push that. Oh, was I supposed to have the power on? Alright, that didn't work. Right, I did it wrong. I had to change it to a different channel. Ah, that's how you do it. That, that was simple. Now it's working. Right, with a little trial and error, so I put uh, the Union Pacific on there, so it should already be on three, and it is. So I'm going to show you how to reprogram. I was doing it wrong before. You got to push this, then the stop button, and release them together, and then choose your channel. We're going to choose six. It should move slightly if I did this right. It did. So now hit stop, and it's program. It's that easy. So now it's on six. Awesome. So, so now I can control them separately, and I'm glad I'm going in the same direction for now. I'm about to switch it up and after I get familiar with this. So the one that's on tr one, let's see, wait a minute. Now that one's on six. What did I set this one to? Two? Let's try that. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, so I do six. Press two. Oh, it's going faster. Six needs to speed up. Oh, that is so neat how you can do that. Switch back to two, speed it up. I can do a chase like this. Awesome. Slow it down. Uh oh. Oh, I messed up. There it goes. Uh oh, I stopped that one. Okay, switch to six. Now yeah, we stopped it. Now, watch this. I think. If, if I do this right, I can make them go in opposite directions. Isn't that neat? That is so neat! They're going in opposite directions. So now we can do the golden spike. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now I can do the golden spike thing. Let me turn them around. So it actually was pretty easy. Um, I'm going to go... Uh, <laughs> I did it wrong at first, and then I, I showed you the right way, but I, it's because I wasn't following the directions. you got to really just pay attention, follow the directions. It's so simple to set those up. So i got one that's set on X6. Which one is that? That is the Union Pacific. Turn that off. 
So the Jupiter is two. Uh-oh, let's back him up. Watch this. this is an, oh, stop. Ooh, he comes to a slow stop. Let me go a little forward here. I'm stop him right there. I'm going to go to six. I, I wish I should have changed. changed. Actually, I want to do that if so it'll be less confusing. I'm going to reprogram this one. So it's on two. So I press and hold that. Push the stop button. Oh, that's going to change both of them. I messed up. I'll just leave it alone because I don't want to... Yeah, I got to take the other one because I'll be programming both of them. That would be messed up. All right. So I'm going to take this one back. All right. So I need to change the direction of that one. So he'll be ready to go. All right. And switch to two. See which way he's going. Okay. All right. So here we go. We're going to have him circle around and join up here in the front. So I'll make him go very slowly. Switch to this one. That is so neat. Oh, you're going too fast. That is so neat. Slow that one down a little bit. I speed this one up. Slow it down. Slow it down. Whoa, we had a derailment there. I didn't have the track switched all the way, apparently. All right. That was my fault. All right. Come a little closer. Two. I am thoroughly enjoying this. This is great. These locomotives, they look great. Did I mess this one up? Uh-oh, looks like I might have pulled the cab. That was me. I think I did that. Yeah, I need to fix that. All right, that looks a little better. <laughs> yeah, got to be careful taking these out of the box. I was not careful enough taking that out, so that was all on me. These just look remarkable what do you think Chrissy do you like this one do you like it Jupiter quite pleased with this Let's see if I can remember which way to make these go where they don't hit each other there goes that one. Oh, wrong way. I'm going to park one in the siding. Might be a more prototypical way or a better way of running them. Have one in the siding. So I can just stop it there. Then throw the switch. And then I'll switch to the other one. I'm going to change it back going forward. 
There we go, full speed. Awesome. Stop it. Oh, it didn't stop. All right. So it appears according to the instructions that you can run two or three. Any more than that, it may uh, be too much power for this. And you also can program two, two to three locomotives with the same address so they can uh, run together. So it's, it says that these can also work on the analog mode. So we're going to go over to my layout, which is regular DC, uh, and see how they do over there. Okay, so let's see what happens on a traditional analog setup. We got the Union Pacific on here. I'm going to give it some power, see what happens. Do I have a, oh, I don't have the track on. Would help if I turned the track on, wouldn't it? All right, let's try it now. All right, it, it's a little more choppy. It's, it's mainly probably not getting a good startup voltage. This is a very old power pack, so there we go. So I don't have the, I can't do the controls where I can run both of them like we was on the other one unless I hook up that other power pack onto here, which I may end up doing at some point or fixing a way where I can switch back and forth between this power pack and the other. I may put another like selector, put the other power pack here and where I can choose to run either off of this or the other power pack. If I want to run a couple of uh, DCC locomotives. Now basically you would turn all the power up where it's all on and switch everything over to that. Something like that. It's working pretty good. It's as fast as it'll go. Back it up here. Beautiful. But it does work with the sound. Uh oh. Derailed there. I think it's one of the switch tracks wasn't turned. So this is an amazing set. Awesome. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, there is an emergency stop function. It stops everything. And then it starts back up. Come back here. Awesome. So I hope you enjoyed a look at this awesome set just uh, I just love it. Love the the details on these locomotives. Love having DCC. My first experience experience with it. This Easy Command Control Center. Uh, despite me not following the directions, I did eventually get it. So it's definitely something that a novice like myself or you, if you've never experienced it, uh, can actually get this these up and running with no problem. Uh, so it's nice being able to control multiple locomotives. If you want me to try some other things out, I'll, don't worry. There will be more videos featuring these locomotives and the general. Uh, just so glad uh, to get this. Thanks again to Train World for sponsoring this video. Thanks to you and the ones that suggested the Golden Spike. Uh, we got that letter the other day from Ricky Freeney who suggested... Uh, uh, or was talking about the commemoration of the 150th anniversary of the Golden Spike, May 10th, 1869. So May 10th this year, 2019, will be the official 150th anniversary of this. So check out this awesome uh, train set, a great starter set, especially if you're wanting to try DCC and you want a piece of history. Limited to only 1,000, so these probably will sell out and you won't ever be able to get it again thanks for watching trains are fun which way are you going
That is so awesome. <laughs>